Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Back in the lab, back in the studio, in the back room at Bun, DJ Company headquarters here in Raleigh, North Carolina, bringing to you yet another piece of quintessential gear that I just started using a few weeks ago, and that is this new cart. So we're gonna get into that in just a minute, but have you subscribed to the channel? You haven't? We're trying to hit 10K. This is the grind of all grinds. Please subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. All right, we're back. And today we're talking about this new cart right here on the ground. This is the Crane AMG 750 All-Terrain Cart. That's Crane with a K instead of a C. And yeah, AMG, yeah, just like a Mercedes-Benz AMG. So this is the Mercedes-Benz of roll-in carts and roll-out carts. Now you guys have seen me on this channel numerous times talk about loading in, loading out. We've done multiple videos on that because I believe it is such an important part of our job Number one, in keeping us from getting hurt. Number two, from keeping us from getting burnout. And number three, to keep getting more referrals from the vendors that recommend you. You know, they want you in fast, especially if they're flipping the room, and they want you out fast because everybody at the end of the night is probably already packed up and ready to go home, and sometimes they're waiting on you. So I talk a lot about loading in and loading out because I think it's such a huge part of being a mobile disc jockey, a mobile DJ. The other carts I've shown you in the past were by a company called Rock and Roller. I've had the R12 and the R18. You've seen them in multiple videos. We can put the links down below, or you can just go back a few weeks and look up anything to do with loading in or loading out, and you're gonna see me using the Rock and Roller carts. It was time for a change. Multiple reasons. I don't wanna bash that product. I've loved Rock and Roller carts for a long time. I've used them for a long time. I've had some issues with them breaking, or parts coming off, or you know the, the grip tape on top rolling up, the tires went flat the last time I left them loaded heavy in the van. I mean, I've had some issues with them. And I put a post up on the DJ's Vault members only Facebook group, and I asked, what are you guys using cart-wise to load in and load out? And I got all sorts of responses. I got mag liners, which are what you'll see your UPS guy using your big uh, almost convertible type aluminum looking card. I got Rock and Roller. I got um, another brand, Gator Frameworks. Uh, you've seen me talk about their hydraulic speaker stands before and mic stands that I bought from them. And then I got several people saying the Crane, the AMG 750 is my go-to. So I started doing a little research and I get on their website, which is cranecarts.com. We'll put their link down below. And then I reached out to my man, Ben Stowe, over at NLFX, and I was like, hey, Ben, do you have them? He said, yes, I bought it, I bought it. Again, I did not get this sent to me, I bought it, and he sent it to me. While we're talking about money, while we're talking about the price, sit down, it's expensive, all right? This is a $600 car, but I think if you keep watching the video, you're gonna see why. It's a $600 car, a rock and roller, I think the R12 Stealth, the all black one that uh, was a few weeks back in a load-in video was about $350. So it's a $250 more cart. Let's, let's, let's just start opening this thing up and see what it does first and foremost, and then you make the decision. And I'll tell you my final thoughts on it, the advantages, the disadvantages, the pros, the cons in this video. All right. So let's talk about opening it up, right? Um, this is a little bit different the way that it opens. You've got these red knobs on the bottom. You kind of pull them and you get this kind of click. And there's another one on this side and you get this kind of click. And then just like a rock and roller, you've got these two wires here and it's basically just tension based. You push down or you can even use your foot and pop the handles. Now this, is how I have been using it. So with the way this is laid out right here, you can put a number of different configurations. I had the Evolve 50 sub, another Evolve 50 sub, an Evolve 30 sub, a little bin of cables, or maybe my cameras on here. I had other stuff going across the top. 
and then I put a couple straps across the top as well. Not even ratchet straps, just bungees. And I rolled in. Then I came back, I put the entire command center on here. And I think 16 up lights in their soft cases beside it. And that was pretty much my whole rig. So this is pretty much the size of an R12. It's a little bit longer than an R12. It's about the same width. And I think it's a little bit shorter than an R18, which is Rock and Roller's biggest car. And now I wanna show you the things that I think are super cool about this car. First and foremost, you'll see that it has these carpeted decks on it. Now, in other videos, when I've shown the Rock and Rollers, you've probably noticed that I usually put a board down right here. On this cart, you don't have to because you got these carpeted decks right here. Now, these are great so that your up lights, maybe in your soft cases or other things don't rock back and forth when you got you know some rocky terrain. You don't have to worry about things falling off because you have a completely flat surface. I love that. You'll also notice this. There's not four wheels on these carts. There are six wheels. And these two here in the middle actually have a tube in them. I believe that's called pneumatic. And they do have to be pumped up. A bike pump, by the way, did not work. I actually had to go to a garage and pump those middle tires up to 30 PSI, I believe it was. So you got six wheels, flat decks. Again, the ends are pretty much the same. And the next thing I wanna show you is that this thing can do multiple configurations, right? So, you know, you saw earlier, if I hit this, check it out. I can lock in here, yeah, lock in here. It can be a table. I can let this back down. I can go that side down, this side up, boom. I got kind of like a little uh, hand truck almost. Boom, if I want to pop a curb or whatever. I mean, there are so many configurations. In fact, what we'll do is I'll go on the website and do a screen recording now, and I'll show you guys exactly some of the configurations that you can do without sitting here all afternoon trying to figure it out. So what do you think guys? Isn't that pretty crazy? Like look at all the different configurations you can do with that thing just by going on the website and looking at those photographs. The other thing I wanna show you while we're looking at the website is this page right here. Check this out. There are multiple accessories that you can buy for this car. Everything from shelves to hooks to even a cargo bag that hangs off of the side. That alone is worth the price of admission. Like, you can basically trick this card out. I think originally, as I'm looking at their website, it was designed for filmmakers, you know, and people that do a lot of on-site, on-set work, kind of using this as a table once they load all their gear in. Uh, but I'm bringing it to the DJ world and I'm bringing it to you guys right here on the YouTube channel. Again, they didn't pay me to make this. I specifically told you where to get it, NLFX, where I get all of my gear, Ben at NLFXPro.com. We'll put the link down below where to get it. But those are some of my favorite things. Flat decks, good size, six wheels. And again, the sixth wheel, that makes this thing a absolute assassin when you have tight corners. We just did a show at the Umstead, and that video will be coming out uh, very soon here on this channel. The gig log was done at the Umstead. I've talked about the Umstead before for people that watch this channel and my gig logs. It's incredibly difficult load in. You have to come into a, a loading dock, go up into a working kitchen in a five-star restaurant, go through several corridors, and then pop out into the ballroom. This cart kicked ass in that kitchen. We came off the elevator, we hit a left, we hit another left, we went down a skinny corridor, made another left. We are normally having to pick up the end of this, shuffle it around, then go, boom. If you look, I'm gonna drop this down again. If you look, you can see how easy this turns. Like this thing turns on a dime. I mean, basically you can just sit here and spin it in circles. So if you're going down, you know, a skinny hallway and you need to turn real quick, instead of me having to sit here with a full load and go, uh, you've got that middle wheel and it allows you to whip around these corners super, super fast. So that's another thing that I love about it. So far, gig tested, gig approved, loving it, loving it, loving it. 
Uh, let's talk about the disadvantages. First and foremost, that middle tire does need to be inflated when it shows up. I tried a ball pump that I stole from my son, didn't work. Took my bike pump that I normally pump my tires up on my bike, didn't work. Had to go to a service station down the road and put a dollar in it and actually inflate the tires. So be prepared to do that before you go out and do your first show or you're gonna be running flat. Other disadvantages, it's heavy. I ain't gonna lie, it's a beast. Uh, when it breaks down to boom, boom, size, it's heavy, I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, I went and checked on the website. It does weigh about 50 pounds and it's a little bit awkward to carry and to put in your van because you got this kind of look to it right here and then this here. I actually, when I put it in the van, did leave it on its side and then just kind of strapped it to the wall like this because I knew if I put it down like that, it was gonna be rolling around a lot. So I left it on its side like that. And the only other disadvantage I can see is that it does have more moving parts with these release handles and a couple of other mechanisms that make it open and go into the configurations that it does go. So potentially something else to break. And here are just a few last minute specs before we wrap this video up. The deck is actually 52 inches long. And like I said, it's carpeted. It can go into nine different configurations. And the reason it's called the 750 is because it can hold 750 pounds fully loaded. But all in all, so far using it at a show and here in the office, moving some stuff around, it's been really, really nice. Uh, I guess the last disadvantage would be it is, as I said, the most probably expensive card on the market at 600 bucks, but I think it's gonna last a long time. I think it is very useful for what we do as DJs, and I feel like you would feel the same. Again, reach out to Ben if you want one. If you have any questions for me, always drop them below in the comments, and I'll be glad to get back to you. I always respond to the comments myself. Give the video a big old fat thumbs up, and of course, make sure you subscribe because we drop new videos every single week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know y'all love the gear. I love the gear. We're DJs, we love the gear. See you back next week.